Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download and install multiple programs at the same time on your Windows computer. So this is definitely useful if you just have a brand new hard drive or you're looking to do a clean install of Windows and you just want to install some new programs without having to manually go through and download each individual program. While this software solution I'm going to be showing in this tutorial will not likely download every piece of software you use. It will definitely be able to help you, especially if you use a lot of software, at least get four or five pieces of software you very likely use. So in this brief tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. So I'm going to just open up a web browser here. It doesn't matter what you use, but I'm going to just open up Microsoft Edge. And then through Google, I'm going to type in N-I-N-I-T-E. And then I'm going to hit enter. So nine night. One of the best matches that comes up should say nine night. Install or update multiple apps at once. Now I apologize if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but that's what we're going to be pronouncing it with for this tutorial. So I'm going to just click on that page to open it up. Now this should be a free application. You do not want to get the professional version, unless of course you do want to help the developers of the software. I'm not advocating that though. I just don't want you downloading it from a different site that's asking for money in order to download because this should be a free download for the base product for home use. So it's going to say pick the apps you want. So let's say we want to download some web browsers here. So we can download Chrome, Firefox, Opera, even if we wanted to. For security, I do not recommend downloading Essentials for Windows 10. I don't even know if it would let you do that because Windows Defender is on there but you can download a variety of security software packages. You can also download different popular developer tools like Python, Java Development Kit, and Visual Studio Code. And you can get Dropbox, LibreOffice, and OpenOffice Suite, Google Earth, and so forth. There's a lot of different applications you can download and install in one go here. But we're going to keep it pretty simple. I don't want to be here all day, so I'm only going to download a couple of these. But let's say Chrome, Firefox, 7-Zip and VLC Media Player and you know what I think that will be it so then we're gonna left click on get your 9 -night. it's gonna see what you want to do with this installer I'm gonna just save it and then once it's done saving I'm gonna run the software and at this point we can close out of the web browser if we chose to do so and you will likely get a user account control window as well asking if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device I recommend you select yes and before you do that I recommend you make sure that the verified publisher is secure by Design Inc. I want to make sure it's the correct publisher and it's not some fake application so I'm going to close out of the web browser because it's no longer necessary and we're going to let this run for a moment and we can see what it is downloading at the moment and it's a very automated process, does not really require any interaction, so it's very nice. And what I also like about this application is it does keep all the software that it uses up to date, so it will go out and find the latest version of Google Chrome, Avira, Avast, Antivirus, or whatnot, so it's always keeping you up to date as much as possible. And you can see it's installing all these applications without us having to go through all those prompts along the way, which is definitely nice. You can see Opera has already been installed and we didn't even have to go through any screens. And it should be implied, but the more programs you want to install with this, the longer it's going to take to download and install. Sounds pretty obvious, but I just thought I'd put that little disclaimer in there while we're installing. Okay, and once it's done installing, it'll give you the application. It'll tell you the status, if it's okay, up to date. So very simple. Once you're done doing that, you just click on the close button right here, and you close out of it, and you're good to go. I'm also obviously not being sponsored by them in any way. I just wanted to feature that in this tutorial because honestly, I've used it in the past. It's very good if you reinstall Windows a lot. And in what I do, I install Windows very frequently. So when you have a million programs you have to download, it's nice if you can get a few of them out of the way by using this application that is very inclusive, does have a lot. Locally, it probably had close to 40 or 50 applications on there if I had to guess, but maybe there are more or less. Definitely something interesting to check out. 
I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.